Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another DVD Blu-ray update. Finally, I placed an order with Amazon.co.uk a couple of weeks ago and my stuff has finally arrived and I've had a chance to check most of it out so I wanted to quickly update you guys. Great to be back with another one of these videos because I know you enjoy it and it's been quite a while since I've added anything new to the collection really so yeah, I definitely plan to do more of these in the future again, so yeah, anyway, enough on that. Uh, let's get started on what I've picked up from Amazon.co.uk, and like always, DVDs first. Okay, so first up we have the modern version of The Town That Dreaded Sundown, and I had pretty high expectations for this one, but this one just did not work for me at all. Now keep in mind I'm a big fan of the original movie from the 70s. I think it's a really well done whodunit slasher style movie. Very creepy and eerie. But this one I didn't really care for many of the characters. I didn't really get into the story. This one was kind of weird because it wasn't an official remake. It was kind of a sequel. And I just feel that the time between the original and this one was just way too long for it to be a convincing sequel. Um, I think it just would have been a lot better if it sort of had it been more of a standalone movie based on the original without relying on the original if you guys know what I mean because they flicked back and forth they talked about the original movie way too much in my opinion um, and it definitely took me out of this movie. The slasher elements, the kills were kind of weak. A lot of them were off screen and there was nothing really that impressive. So yeah, I just did not get into this movie at all. So I don't really recommend it. I do recommend the original Town That Dreaded Sundown though a lot better. Next up we have The Final. And this is a really, really well done, fun little revenge movie about a group of bullied high school students who get their revenge on the bullies. So basically they get wind that the um, popular cool kids that have bullied them through school are holding a costume party. So they decide to exact their revenge during this party. They all dress up in pretty kick-ass looking costumes and play out their revenge on the bullies. Really well done. This was actually a lot more full on and brutal in parts than I was expecting, and just an all round really good, solid revenge movie from start to finish. So, if you're a fan of these high school themed revenge movies where the victims of bullies get their comeuppance, then you should really enjoy the final lot because I certainly did, and I would definitely recommend it. And last but certainly not least for the DVDs, we have Among the Living, and this was an absolutely fantastic French horror movie from the same people that did Inside. So I'm a massive fan of Inside, and um, knowing that the same people were involved with this movie, I definitely had really high expectations for this, and it definitely delivered. While it's not quite on the same level as Inside, and I really wasn't expecting it to be, it still was fantastic and I really can't fault this movie whatsoever. Um, quick rundown, this movie is about three young teenage boys who skip school for the afternoon and they decide to go and muck around at an abandoned um, film lot called Blackwoods. And while they're there mucking around, they come across a woman who's been kidnapped and then a masked man appears drags the woman away and the boys are freaking out, they don't know what to do, so they decide to um, follow the masked man and try and rescue this woman and find out what the hell is going on. While they're doing that, they get spotted, they manage to run off and escape back home, and while it's still in the back of their minds, they do think that they have gotten away, And um, but really they haven't because the Masked Man has tracked them back home and then it sort of turns into like a hybrid of a slasher and home invasion film and that's when shit really starts to hit the fan. Not only are the boys in trouble but the families of the boys are also in grave danger as well. So 
that's pretty much the premise behind this one, but this was absolutely fantastic. The opening scene, my god, was that brutal, that was extremely full on, and um, it definitely sets up the two main villain characters' story. I really enjoyed the villain story within this movie, but yeah, can't fault this movie, good atmosphere, um, it was creepy, it was brutal, there were some good gore effects, and all the characters were really good, so yeah, if you're a fan of French horror, um, slasher, home invasion style movies, I think Among the Living is going to be right up your alley. I absolutely loved it, and this one gets my highest recommendation. Okay, and moving on to the blues now, so from Arrow Video we have Dead End Driving, and I was pretty excited that this one was getting a Blu-ray release, because I'm a big fan of this movie. It's an Ozploitation movie from Brian Tentred Smith, who also directed Turkey Shoot and BMX Bandits. But yeah, this movie is fantastic, and I really like the premise and idea behind this movie. It's pretty original. Um, basically, the um, town's really sick of all the youth and the young people causing trouble, so they set up this hidden jail, if you like, and it's basically a drive-in movie theatre where all the troublemakers are held captive, essentially. They're trapped there, they can't escape, and that's basically what the movie's about. We have the main character who ends up being trapped in the drive-in, and he tries to escape. So, really, really cool premise. Um, it's pure 80s, it's great exploitation fun, and if you're into those type of movies and you've never seen this, I definitely recommend it. I've seen the movie a couple of times before, but I have not actually checked out this particular release, so I can't quite comment on what the transfer is like, but I've heard good things via reviews, and of course knowing how awesome Arrow Video are, I'm sure the transfer is really, really good, but other than that, this is a really nice release. I like the custom artwork that Arrow have um, done with this particular release, and like always, it does definitely come with alternate artwork, which I'm a big fan of as well, and I've never seen this artwork before for the film, so that's pretty cool. Um, I like the images, and I definitely like the hot pink uh, colour scheme on the border. But going back to the custom artwork, I definitely prefer that, so that is how I'm going to um, display this release. But yeah, Dead End Drive-In, classic exploitation fun, and that's really all I have to say on that. Okay, and next up we have another Arrow Video Blu-ray release, and this time it is for Slugs. And this is one of my all-time favourite 80s creature features, or just creature features in general, definitely within my top five for sure. So I was really pretty excited when Arrow Video announced they were going to be releasing this one on Blu-ray, because I've wanted it on Blu-ray for a while now, big fan of the film obviously. And this one centres around a slug invasion in a small town, and it's pretty much just what you'd expect from a classic cheesy 80s creature feature. Um, it's great fun. Great characters, some good effects, and the slugs look really, really good as well. And I really have to say that this is definitely one of my all-time favourite custom artworks that Arrow have done. The cover art for this just looks absolutely amazing. Now, I have actually had time to check out this release. Obviously, I've seen the movie a few times before, but I did want to check out the Blu-ray. And I've got to say, really, really impressed with the transfer. Arrow have done a really good job with this release all round. Now it does come with alternate artwork, which I do really, really like the artwork on this one as well. It's pretty simple, but I really love the skull with the slugs wrapped around it, the white background, and the title font looks really, really good as well. But I've got to say, the custom artwork is definitely my preference. With this release, it just looks absolutely awesome. So, yeah, if you're a fan of this movie, this is definitely well worth upgrading to Blu-ray. Or if you've never seen it before, definitely pick up this release. It's pretty much the definitive release for this movie as of right now. And last but certainly not least for the Blu-rays, we have Children of the Corn Trilogy from 88 Films. 
this is the collector's edition box set and I'm really glad that I finally got around to picking this one up because I recently read online that this thing is going out of print soon so if anyone has yet to order it and you're interested in it I would definitely get on it sooner rather than later because if this thing had gone out of print before I'd ordered it I would have been super pissed big fan of the Children of the Corn series in general I know some of the sequels aren't the greatest but I have a lot of fun with this series I was super addicted to it through high school and I'm still a big fan of most of the movies in general now um, so to get the first three movies in a trilogy set it's pretty cool I already own the original Anchor Bay Blu-ray for the original film which is a great release but I mostly wanted this for part two I love part two I think it's a great sequel and they've done a really good job with part two um, the transfer looks great it's the best the movies ever looked there's a lot of detail you see a hell of a lot more than you did on the previous DVD releases especially the opening scene down in the cellar where they discover all the human adult remains that's clear as day now you can see everything it's awesome part two also comes with the work print which is just VHS quality but it's still a pretty awesome addition to have um, part three I'm not really going to talk about it because I don't enjoy the movie at all it's crap um, but I know that that one had a previous blu-ray release so yeah all in all a pretty nice trilogy set um, it's part of the slasher collection and they all come with their own individual blu-rays which is cool um, there's some nice artwork there and then there's also some alternate artwork as well which uh, looks really really cool so happy to have them all in their individual blu-ray cases um, that's a good thing but all around this is a pretty solid little set from 88 films and if you're a fan of children of the corn i would definitely recommend it this set is well worth picking up for the blu-ray release of part two alone so yeah and another little thing i have not checked out the transfer for part one so i can't give my opinions on that to say whether it's any different better or worse than the um, us anchor bay release but yeah, um, enough on that. That is the Children of the Corn Trilogy from 88 Films. Alright, so that was my horror haul from Amazon.co.uk. Uh, let me know what you think of the movies that I've added into the collection. If you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. And as always, thank you for watching.